After being banned from the three-day trial, foreign and local reporters were allowed in for the verdict. An unexpected twist in this case, perhaps a last-minute attempt at openness by Chinese authorities. But the outcome, it seems, was a foregone conclusion. China's courts almost always find criminal defendants guilty. Australian Stern Hu and his three fellow Rio Tinto executives were no exception. On the uh, charge of bribery, Mr Stern Hu was sentenced to seven years jail. Uh, on the commercial secrets matter, he's been sentenced to five years in prison. The combined period of time he will have to serve in prison will be ten years. The other three received sentences ranging between seven and 14 years. According to his lawyer, Stern Hu took two bribes worth a total of about a million US dollars. The money came from two smaller steel mills looking to guarantee long-term iron ore supplies. That would mean, in theory at least, those smaller companies would not have to pay higher prices for iron ore on the open market, potentially saving millions of dollars. Stern, whose lawyer says his client took the money because he was worried about being laid off from his job and he was caring for two elderly parents, both in poor health, and he wanted to help two old friends. One received 300,000 US dollars, but who was detained before the other friend received any payment. Whose lawyer says he confessed to receiving kickbacks shortly after his arrest and repaid the money. And that early admission, the court said, meant a lenient sentence. It's a goal of the entire uh, penal system, uh, getting a, a suspect to ultimately uh, admit that what they did was wrong, whether it be in the investigation stage, at trial, or ultimately in prison. The four executives were also charged with stealing commercial secrets. The court said they had illegally obtained information from China's Steel Association, and that meant China had overpaid for iron ore by about 140 million US dollars. This trial sparked diplomatic tension between Beijing and Canberra and had political overtones from the very beginning. The four men were arrested last July, just weeks after Rio rejected a multi-billion dollar investment by one of China's biggest state-owned mining companies. The Chinese has laid out the case basically saying this has nothing to do with revenge or China's punishing one company over the other. For the Australian-British mining giant Rio Tinto, business is booming in China, announcing another major deal with its biggest customer just last week. As for the four convicted executives, Rio says they'll be fired for violating the company's code of conduct. John Vores, CNN Shanghai.